gathered virtually in worship, we lift up our prayers uh, to God. Uh, Will you join me? Let us bow. Let us pray. Dear Lord, you who raised Jesus from the dead, healer and dealer of new life, even in death, you care for us and open new possibility. Be with us now. We are scattered in our places, but united in our worship of you. Hear us as we pray. We come to you anxious and disrupted by this global pandemic. We miss our usual routines and our normal Easter festivities. Show us that there can be joy and presence and presence in these strange days of quarantine and social distancing. Show us that you are present to us in these times and places too. Christ came to live with us on earth. Christ went even to the grave to show your love for us. Christ appeared to the disciples behind closed doors after he was risen. Surely you are present to us too in our homes and in our isolation. Show us how to be church in the midst of this time. Show us how to witness to your powerful love. We pray this morning for the church throughout the world, that as we celebrate the feast of Jesus' resurrection, we may renew our faith and strengthen our witness in Jesus' name. God of resurrection, hear our prayer. We pray this morning for pastors, teachers, and ministers that they be wise in leadership, humble in service, and fearless in the face of evil. We pray for the governments of the world and leaders at every level that they may practice compassion and reject the politics that use death and suffering as means of control. God of resurrection, hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. For the poor and the stranger, that they may receive a place of refuge, hope, and hospitality. For the sick and those in distress, that they may find healing for their pain and be restored to fullness of life. Lord, I'm right now, I'm dying right now because of this virus. Be with those who are working to find a vaccine or treatment. Be with those caring for the ill. Be with those suffering in hospital beds, isolated from family, friends, and loved ones. Bring your healing and bring it quickly, we pray. God of resurrection, hear our prayer. For those who are grieving, give your peace and your comfort, O Lord. Give your peace and comfort uh, to Doug Peters, to all who knew, all who knew and loved Tracy. Continue to be with Ray Rermond and those who grieve at his wife, Anne's path. Be with so many grieving today. May they know your presence. May they know that you grieve with them, even as they rest in the hope of resurrection and look forward to the day of reunion. For in Christ, all illness and every evil, even death itself, has been defeated on the cross. And we look forward to that day of new life when every tear will be wiped away and weeping and wailing and grief will be no more. Until then, Lord, wrap us in your loving arms. Whisper comfort to us and receive our tears. God of resurrection, hear our prayer. For our neighbors, that together we may dwell in harmony, For our enemies, that we may love them and be agents of reconciliation in the name of Jesus. God of resurrection, hear our prayer. Almighty God, by your grace, accept the fruit of our labor and the offering of our lives. In union with our risen Lord, who lives and reigns with you forever. Almighty God, receive these prayers we offer, and by the power of your Holy Spirit, Use us for the sake of the gospel of Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.